what's cracking yeah um as you can see from the title i'm gonna convert my porcelain pen from hydraulic to posterior to um electronic these are the items needed for it to work electric posterior from the ep3 or honda civic um mx hybrid i realize most people do the ep3 i don't know if because they don't know that the hybrid posterior can work um, wire loom from the ep3 shorter built because they're going to remove the posterior pump and replace it with this pulley wheel from the ep3 i got this one though this is aftermarket this one can adjust ep3 one cannot but you can get it also you can see ep3 also the computer and the brackets for the to mount the back amp in and some else all right so to make it possible i'm going to i don't know the usual jack up the card remove the wheels this disconnect the tire rod in our inner tire rod in outer tire rod in as some may call it i'm going to remove the, the rack and the rackings from inside so when i'm removing the rack and pin it's a little bit easier I want to know it's going to be going to have a commercial room to remove. Um, also going to have to temporarily remove this for the space and the tie bars tie bar. So how do you say that bro? So it's a tracking. Because I think it's going to be a lot of work. Although I have a little makeshift shed before my problem was the sun. I have to wait. But this little makeshift shed kinda make life a little bit easier. So let's get started. So far, um, block up one side. I don't want to carry the, the I don't want to carry the too high because I have to, I have to switch over. So I try to block it up at, at um, the close to the height that it was at when the wheel was on it. So now, um, I remove this, this, and this. I'm going to remove the lower lower tie bar and I'm going to take off this line from the rack and pinion. So it's from the power steering pump and that one right there. I'm going to remove that, then I'm going to remove that big one um, at the back. That's the one that runs round and that's it that comes right there and this is it so i'm going to remove the bottle also then after um, then i'm going to remove the pump this pump so the reason why i well the car after jack up in we have put it but i'm going to right now as i said going to remove the lower tire bar probably just spray it when I take it out and I have to block up the car so I can get access jack up the car so I can get access to these bolts I 
right? So, um, see, I've taken out the, the lower tie bar. So now I'm going to remove this line. I think this is um, yeah, this line. Just connect it right there. So I'm going to remove that now. you can see and there's a little thin bolt comes up yeah focus this thin is all in the, the line that's why I couldn't remove it so I'm going to remove that thin I was kind of struggling to remove this line um reason being you see this it was this it ran behind it so it was kind of impossible to remove it get disconnected so i just disconnect that part that line because it's, it's two of them two lines two eta line one going to the core one coming from the core this one that run that goes to the core i disconnect this one so if you notice no and move the line. Alright, so now the car is jacked up. Yeah, man. <laughs> so now I'm going to remove the outer tire, then this can keep from the shot. This shot. And this is. How oh, I do it with this tool, I use it to break lower ball joints and also um, outer tiring. Um, so I use it to any break ball joints, a ball joint breaking tool. Uh, Alright, so because of the space, look, I use the adjustable. The tightness. So the tightness is supposed to pop. When it pops, you know that the tire is loose. Here. So let's all right. I change our plans. Was planning to remove the 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 rock uh, the rock end. But also very difficult, so just going to have to remove the rack and pin, the rack and pin, and the rackings on it, and then remove the rackings after. And I use a spark plug as a temporary um, plug for the first line that I um, remove. Don't, don't I don't screw it in too tight. But just enough to block it so now I'm just I'm going to remove the, the next line which is this line to the power steering bottle and then after that I disconnect the, the, the steering column from the rack the rack and pinion and remove the brackets those brackets holding the rack and pinion in place then I'm supposed to, supposed to can remove it after that
instead of disconnecting this, I'm pulling the line from here. I'm just going to remove the, the, the holes from this section. This is a little bit easier. Then after now, I'm going to go in the car and disconnect the, the steering column from the rack and pinion. So here it is removed. But um, one more thing that's preventing me from removing, removing the, that robot was. That 10 bolt, that 10 bolt is all in there. You can make it go around through that, that part. The 10 bolt is if it attach, it's attached to the rack and pin and via that 10. So I'm going to undo that and then I'm supposed to can remove the walls. and I'm going to disconnect the rock and pinion from the, the steering column it's held on by one ear and the other ear so I'm going to disconnect these um, loosen these I'll take them out so I can um, disconnect the steering from the rock and pinion and always lock your steering before you do this because you have a ribbon inside that's for the I think the iron and the airbag um, you don't want that to be you don't want to damage that so um, you lock the steering because it's the rock and pinion is the mechanism that stops the steering from turning completely just continue turning so if you disconnect it from that rack and pinion now the steering will just spinning and you can just turn 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 just continue turn until you damage the, the ribbon so i advise you to lock your steering before you do that before you disconnect it so now i'm going to disconnect that now So, see, it's disconnected. So now I'm just going to remove the bracket from that's holding the rack and pinion and try and remove the rack and pinion. Alright, time to remove the rack and pinion now. So, I'm going to undo those 17s. I zoom in to show you those 17 bolts. And the bracket right The rack and pinion is out, and that was a real pain. Um, I would advise you if, if you can remove the, the, the racking, the inner tire then before it will make it all much much easier. 
if it's out right now. If I did, um, I put it from the side. Right here. You're gonna have to um, move, remove my um, just partially um, pull the, and the splash guard out of the way and then took it from the side. So right now, and then to, to it through, take it through this um, little passage. So now, I'm going to remove that bracket and that, that one and place it with the electric type. I'm going to do a side by side comparison. Side by side comparison with the brackets. This is the original DC5 or the hydraulic bracket. This is the electric bracket. The only difference so far with these two is this is a slightly bigger. Just a little bit. Here with the difference right here. Um, it's come to the side where this sits above and this is slightly bigger but I don't think it's bigger it's just because it carries this little part this is what made the difference alright now I'm going to put back EP3 back it's in the DC5 so it can accommodate the electric costume. The electrical company.